I think it's an incredible privilege to be able to lead the ACLU Immigrants' Rights Project. The immigrant community is really under attack daily in so many ways. Um, I think there are so many people who wish that they could do more, right? Who wish that they could devote more of their time, more of their energy, um, more of their talents to supporting this community and, and to, um, to fighting back. And, and the great thing for us is that we get to do it um, all the time. It's not always happy, obviously, and it's deeply disappointing in a lot of ways to be operating in this environment, but, um, but you know, at least we get to devote our time and our energy to, to fighting back um, and, uh, and to doing it successfully. I read a, an article in the paper the other day uh, quoting, you know, a, an unnamed senior DHS official is saying, you know, we sit there and we get the next wave of ideas from the White House about, you know, the next attack that we're going to launch on the immigrant community. And, and we think, well, why are we going to do it? You know, it's just going to get challenged in court and it's just going to get struck down. We're not the only ones who are helping uh, to create that impression um, in the government, but it's, um, you know, we are part of, part of that, of, of, you know, of making them feel that way. And the next step is for them not to do it <laughs> um, if they know that that's how it's going to end up. And that's where we really want to be. Um, but, um, but I think, you know, uh, in, in the context where you have um, an administration that's so committed to this agenda, to have them saying that, um, you know, that they know they're going to they're gonna meet successful resistance um, as they try to carry it out, for them to recognize that um, internally and publicly helps us understand that we are, in fact, you know, making a difference um, yeah, as we do this work.